everyone, I'm going to show you a demonstration of the Weather API homework. I'm going to give you the code that will create this initial starter page, where you can input the city, choose between Fahrenheit and Celsius, and then you'll click on Get Weather. When you click on that, it's going to update all of this content down here. Right now I have the temperature in blank is currently blank, the high today will be blank, and the low will be blank. And the image is missing as well, as you can see inside this box. To get started, you'll go into the code, go to begin, and you will see that I have the initial call that's missing one thing. You are going to need to create a variable called your weather app ID and include your app ID or weather app ID. Once you've gotten that far, you can go in and get started on the final product. The final product hides the results at the beginning, and if I were to click on get weather, it will generate the information for Ann Arbor using Fahrenheit. So whenever the city is missing, I want you to always use Ann Arbor. And whenever the temperature format is missing, I want you to always use Fahrenheit. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and put in a different city. We'll try London, Celsius, and we'll click in Get Weather. And you can see that the weather in London right now is currently six degrees and it looks kind of a little rainy. The high will be eight. Let's try putting in um, Melbourne. Um, oh, I guess it's probably still kind of nighttime there. Let's see if I can think of some place that's a little bit warmer than what we've got going on right here. How about uh, Belize City in Fahrenheit? All right, well, at least it's 79, although it still doesn't look very sunny. So again, your job is to be able to fill in the city and or the weather click on get weather, it updates the location you're looking at, the current temperature, the high, and the low. If any of these, any of this information is missing, it will default to Ann Arbor and Fahrenheit. Um, in the code, I want to make sure that you know you shouldn't change any of the code in the body. I already have that set up for you. You'll be uh, looking primarily at the jQuery and you will also be doing a little tiny bit with CSS um, and the forecast. All right, um, if you have questions, please put them onto the Slack channel and also refer to the rubric. Good luck.